Welcome back, Kiss Army, to another episode of We Are One. You wanted the best, and you got the best. The hottest Kiss channel in the land. We Are One. Welcome back to the Psycho Circus. We are one Kiss Army, and we shout it out loud. Celebrating all eras of history. While you're here, be sure to subscribe because you got nothing to lose. Be like Ace and give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell so no matter if it's tomorrow or tonight, you can get all you can take. It's kissing time once again, so let's raise our glasses and get into today's video. Uh, well, well, Peter, Superman. we should turn it over to the people because we got people waiting over an hour oh, here Lord. to get through. Here it comes. So we'll, and, and, and you guys that are holding, when you get on the air, you know, let's, we, we got it. we're going to try to move this a little bit because there's so many people and obviously we don't have all the time in the world here. So uh, we'll get to your question and we'll hopefully be able to get you an answer and we'll just, we're going to keep rolling. So uh, let's, uh, where, where else to start but in Queens who... Uh, we got Gene checking in from Queens. Hey, Gene, you're finally, after an hour, waiting. Thank you for being patient on the air with Peter Chris. Hey, hi, Eddie. How are you? Hi, hi Peter. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm Gene. I'm a cab driver in Queens. And my question is that I took my son to see you guys. Um, I'm a big Kiss fan, and I'm 42 years old. My son turned 12 in 2000, and I, and I took him for the farewell tour. I guess that was the last time you guys played together, right? Well, as far Basically, as your, as a, the original as band, band yeah, 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 the original band, yeah. yeah, right, right. And last year and this year, I asked him if he wants to see the kids, but I told him it's not the original kids. He says no, <laughs> he wants to see the original kids. And I was very disappointed that that the original kids is not together anymore. I'm with you. So, and another question is, um, I heard from uh, on Eddie Trunk show on your show, Eddie, that on a lot of albums that they didn't use. Peter and Ace on, on the studio albums, and I was very disappointed. Why yeah. is that? Well, we talked about that earlier, Gene, right. and, and thank you for the call, uh, obviously on Psycho Circus. Well, actually, we, we talked about that you didn't play on them, but what was the reason for it? You know, obviously you didn't play on Psycho Circus. There's also, uh, it's fairly well known that on tracks on Dynasty and all, on all of Unmasked, right. Anton Fig played. Right. Absolutely right. With Ace, there's mm -hmm. there's countless mm -hmm. recordings from as far back as Destroyer where songs he didn't play on. Mm -hmm. I, I know you can only speak for you in your own situation, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I imagine there's a variety of reasons depending upon what era you're talking about as to why you didn't play, right? Right, absolutely. And most of the times I'm not going to play if I'm not, if my heart and my soul... And everything, my whole being isn't into it. I'm, I'm just, you know, and many times when we got, so to say, I just did VH1, uh, when Kiss Rules the World, we just did a big thing. And they asked me why would Dynasty. By Dynasty, I was, I wanted out. I wasn't happy. I thought the band was going Vegas. You know, now we got purple, red, green, orange, blue. It, it had nothing to do with the silver and black, our real kick-ass colors. It's, again, I said the word. But the band lost the band lost that double-edged sword and that's what we we're all about and for me if it ain't there i ain't there mm -hmm. uh let's go to uh keith who is listening to us in levittown what's up keith you're live on the air thanks for holding peter chris hey keith pleasure to meet you brother you too man. let me tell you something man let me get right to it i go totally ahead. understand everything down to the attitude of 76 75 and 74 you guys walk those streets with such a, a honor man. I mean, everything down to Jerry Nolan and oh, everything like God that. I love that whole honor man. Mm -hmm. And that is what KISS stands for. Thank Let you. me tell you something. Thank you. Thank you for giving what you gave to KISS. God bless you, man. You are an amazing impression on me, and I am a guitar player, and I, I freak out on your voice. Oh, God Thank bless Thank you for man. just doing what you did. Don't take no crap. I love you, and I hope you uh, are best in your ventures. God bless you, too. And you stand tall where you stand, too, Oh, brother. believe me, I'm going to stand very tall. Let me tell you, Thank you are the best, man. Thank and you, man. Thank you so kiss much. Kiss should be kissed, and they're not, and that's cool. You know the reasons why, and yep. I know the reasons why some people don't, but you are well appreciated. Thank you so much, man. Keith, thanks for the call, and thanks for holding, and uh, good luck to you as well. Let's talk to Peter, who's listening to us in Milburn, New Jersey. Hey, Peter, you're on with Peter Chris. Uh, Peter and Eddie, thank you so much for taking this call. I just wanted to say, uh, Peter, I agree 150% of what you have said about Gene and Paul. I couldn't agree more that it is all about money. I think they should absolutely uh, stop this, uh, you know, shenanigans of doing this stuff. 
Uh, my younger brother and I, honestly, I'm 39 years old. My first name is Peter, so obviously you know who my favorite member is. <laughs> and I just want to tell you, I have seen every tour since Kiss Alive 2, and I refuse to go this summer to see them. I will not waste my time. I will not waste my money to see them. I think it's a farce to have these other men in Kiss makeup. And I just wanted to tell you, Peter, I really wish you the best in everything and like i said you and ace uh made this band and i just miss you guys very much but my quick question to you was really of all the countries that you ever visited what in your opinion was like the funnest or nicest country you ever went to i guess japan i, I really like japan I, I i think they really if new york was a country i'd say new york <laughs> but new york isn't a country and if detroit was a country i'd say detroit but I, I gotta say, Japan. I really like the Orient. I, I I love it over there. They really, really appreciate us, and they've showed showed me that so many ways. Uh, they still do. Uh, they're really honorable people in a lot of honorable ways, and there's not many honorable people around anymore, uh, especially in my business. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, Japan. That would be my favorite place. It's interesting, Peter, because just in the few phone calls we've taken so far, you can hear that. You know, the one thing about KISS fans is they have the the passion. I love them. You know, <laughs> I love them, man. It's it's definitely there. I, they got my shirt, my pants, my underwear, and everything <laughs> I own. I'll give it all to them, man. Absolutely. Uh, let's get one more call in here, uh, at least at this point, and then we'll uh, we'll get a song on, or we'll probably have to take another commercial break here. Um, let's talk to... I'm going to see who's waiting the longest, because these people have been holding on for so long. Wow. Looks like Paul in Lindenhurst has been waiting a long time. Hey, Paul, you're uh, live with Peter Chris. How are you? Peter Chris. Can you feel the love tonight? Oh, buddy. Everyone is loving you. I got goosebumps. I hope you feel the love <laughs> as much as Paul and Gina feeling the dissent, the hatred towards them at the moment. I mean, it's ridiculous what they're doing to you. I hate it. I won't go to this tour. Mm. You won't catch me there. No way. It's such a shame. My question to you is this. Um, I've heard over the years that with all the merchandise that Gene, that Gene pushes out and pushes out, mm -hmm. you don't receive anything for that anymore. Is that true? I don't understand how they'd be able to use your face, with or without the makeup. I mean, people know the pictures of you. How could they use your face and, you know, not pay you for that? It's a legal thing. And I, you know, I can't get into that because, like, and I were just recently talking about it. You know, you guys are so beautiful. But there's contracts in this business I'm in, guys. <laughs> and, and sometimes lawyers get involved in everything and mess everything up and screw everything up. And uh, things happen, man. I'm still a very look at. I'm still a happy guy. I'm I'm a good. I'm doing fine. But thank you for being so concerned. 